Morning, family. It's Pastor Chris. Good morning. I just came from the gym and I'm on my way to work, but I just wanted to stop by and talk, give you our daily devotional today. It's one of my favorite verses. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, For without faith, it is impossible. You know what faith is? We've talked about that already. Faith is the title deed to what we're believing God for. So without to the title deed without believing that it is impossible to please God and the Bible says for he that comes to God right after that for he that comes to God must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him first of all I want to ask you a question how's your faith you know everybody has faith the Bible said that every man is given the measure of faith you if you're a child of God you're born again by the blood of Jesus then you have the measure of faith on the inside of you and you have to exercise Exercise it. Faith is a muscle. You must exercise it. Just like I go to the gym in the morning before I go to work because I don't want to lose my muscle mass. I don't want to lose my agility. I work those muscles because I want to keep them energized. You've got to keep your faith energized. I'm telling you, faith is more than just accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, though. God wants you to walk in faith for your everyday life. He wants you to operate in faith and see signs and wonders and miracles in your life on a daily basis. I'm telling you, Mark 11, 23 and 24, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, he said, you could say to this mountain, whatever you're facing, he's saying, you can say to your mountain, be removed, get out of my way, and that you would see the mountain removed. And he said, if you believe that the things that you say will come to pass, you shall have what you say. As you can see, I'm excited. I get excited about faith because faith still works in a world that looks terrible and a world that looks negative. And I'm telling you, we're coming down. We are in the last days. Second Timothy chapter three uh, says in the last days, perilous times would come. And it talks about men would be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. And one of the scariest verses in that chapter is that they'll have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof or deny the power that's in godliness. I'm telling you, there is a power in your godly living. Don't go through this life not living for God. Don't miss the opportunity to to walk out faith in your life. I'm telling you, we're in that season. You need to know that. But all you've got to do is turn your eyes toward Jesus. If you're not saved and you're not born again, look, he said, with the heart, man believes. And with the mouth, confession is made. And if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, you shall be saved. And listen, don't just stop there. Go on into a daily relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you. I'm going to be back soon with more words. I'm telling you, I love you. God bless you. It is time to turn toward God and put our faith in action. Have a great day.